Hey everyone, this is Tony from Odrive, and this video is about Facebook. A lot of folks ask how can I download all my photos and videos from Facebook, and Odrive can help with that very, very easily and for free. Um, and so I'm going to walk you through the process from not even having an Odrive account to downloading all your photos and videos. So you first have to start on the Odrive website, and that's uh, odrive.com. You can already see I'm here at odrive.com. And you click on sign up free right here. This is going to give you several different options for login. We use OAuth for our login so that we don't store your usernames or passwords or anything like that. OAuth just allows a mechanism for the service to give you a token to use. And so we're going to use Facebook because that's going to create the account and link the storage, the Facebook storage to the account, our OJEV account. So that's going to do it all in one go, make it very easy. So I'm going to click on sign in with Facebook. And I'm already logged into Facebook, so it's popping this up. If you weren't logged into Facebook, you would have to log in to Facebook. Again, OJEV is not getting those credentials. That's just so you can log into Facebook and confirm uh, OJEV access to your account. OJEV is going to need access to make requests on your behalf, and that's what this dialogue is asking. And so I'm going to say continue as Tony, which is me. And now the, uh, the Facebook account has been linked. OJEV account has been created and it's just this is just confirming some of your information you can send a verification email um, that will uh, among other things that like allows you to log into our forum for example you just need to make sure you have a valid email address and you send the verification email but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with that right now um, this just gives you a rundown of what you can do with Odrive and now you can see I'm in my Odrive account and I have my Facebook account linked here and you can browse in here if you want on the web client, but what we really want to do is we want to download everything. So we're going to go to download desktop sync, click on this. That takes us to this page where there's a couple links for downloading the desktop client here. I'm going to be doing this on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows desktop client. And I'm not going to go through the installation process. Um, you guys don't need to see that. But, uh, but I'm going to come back after the desktop client has been installed and continue from there. So I'll All right, back. hey, we're back. That was quick. Uh, so what we're looking at is the screen that pops up when you first install the OJive desktop client. It basically wants you to log in here. So you're gonna click on this get started button. That's gonna open up the OJive website again where it's gonna ask you to sign in. You're just gonna sign in with the same account we just created, which is gonna be listed. Just click on that. It's gonna go through the OAuth process, get you logged in. And then once that's done, it's going to pop up some introductory uh, text and images just showing you how to use the client. I'm going to skip through these because we want to get to the good stuff, right? I'm going to show you how to download everything. Say open ODrive folder at the end. It's going to open this folder here and it's showing our Facebook storage that is linked to our ODrive account. And all you have to do now is right click on this, select sync. And then that's going to bring up some options. You're going to slide this slider all the way to everything. It's probably going to be there already. And then click on include subfolders. And what this means is that it's going to go through the entire Facebook account and download all your photos and all your videos. And something that's kind of cool about ODrive is that it will download your photos in the highest resolution that Facebook allows. And this is something that's kind of that's that's often missed in some of the other apps if you tried any. Um, so it will get as large of a photo as it can get from Facebook. And so once you've set these two settings, you're gonna click on the big sync button here, and it's going to start syncing your Facebook storage. You can see here it's going through it right now, syncing it. And I don't have a whole lot of stuff in my Facebook account, so it's actually gonna be done pretty quick. It doesn't matter, you can have a ton of stuff or just a little bit of stuff. My wife, for example, has a ton, um, and I've used this method for her account as well. Regardless, it's always going to be the same step. You're going to just right-click sync uh, the folder. It's going to go through, download everything. When it's done, it's really up to you what you want to do at that point. If you are doing this just as a backup, then you can leave this the way it is and, and just periodically go ahead and right-click sync again and just have it cycle through and sync everything. Um, if you are doing it as a, if you want to get off Facebook completely, so you're doing it just to migrate off then you probably want to, when it's all done syncing, you're going to probably want to copy this folder somewhere else. Um, so you know, 
to it, right click copy and maybe copy it to an external hard drive or maybe to some other cloud storage. You can link, you know, we have 20 different types of storage you can link here. So you could even just copy the Facebook folder into uh, another storage account like a Google Drive or something. So it really depends on what you want to do. Uh, but in any case, O-Drive will make the downloading process very, very simple as you can see. And I hope this was helpful to some folks that are looking to do this type of thing. If you have any questions about this, you can go to the O-Drive forum at forum.odrive.com and you can uh, just ask away and we'll, we'll help you out. And I, I guess that's it. Nice and simple. I hope you guys all have a great day and thanks for watching.